My hair was a lot longer back then, and I wore big glasses. <laughs> yes, you did, but you were still cute. Well, thanks. <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. I'm Campbell. And I'm Andrea. Campbell and I were just looking at his yearbook from when he was a senior in high school. This yearbook shows pictures of students and different things that happened in my senior year of high school. You know, looking at this yearbook makes me think about when I was in high school. Those were fun years. They were, but they were also very hard. All the homework and tests and classes. And friends and clubs and sports. That's true. All right, students. So this week, we're going to learn how to talk about school. Yes, we are. And we're going back to Portland to see our friends there. And here's today's mission. What does Mandy think about Trina's acting and singing? What does Mandy think about Trina's acting and singing? Well, Who's Trina? I guess we'll find out today. For now, let's go see what Allie and Mandy are doing. Hey, girl. How is sc school? Are you okay? It's so terrible. What is school? I just can't believe it. Mandy, stop being so dramatic. Hey, you usually say that to me. You won't believe who got the lead in the school play. Who? Trina Taylor. Taylor? The principal's daughter? That's interesting. All right, welcome back. Let's learn how to talk about school. Well, our friend Mandy comes home from school and her sister asks her how school was today. But before she can finish asking the question, Mandy falls down on Allie's bed. Well, Mandy isn't too happy about something that happened at school today. What happened? Well, Trina Taylor got the lead part the most important part in the school play. Now, who is Trina Taylor? Well, she's the daughter of the principal at Mandy's school. All right, and principal is our key word. Let's take a look. Principal. Principal. The principal of a school is the person who is in charge of the school. Yeah, the principal, the person who's in charge of the school. You know, the principal is like the boss of the school. The principal makes decisions and makes sure that the school is running well. The principal is a very important person in the school. And because of that, Sometimes teachers or students might want to do some special things for the principal, not because the principal deserves it, but just because they want the principal to like them. Right. I think that's why Ali says that's interesting. It's interesting that the principal's daughter would get the lead part in the play. Yeah, well, the title of our lesson is Mandy Tells the Truth, and that's our next keyword, truth. Truth. Now, the truth is something that's true, something that's real or correct is the truth. The title of our lesson is Mandy Tells the Truth. That means Mandy tells what's correct. She tells the right thing that happened. Okay, well, what's that? We'll find out. First, let's go see Thomas. Uh, Mandy, don't you have any homework to do? Yeah. I have so much homework to do tonight. Don't you think you should get started? Oh, yeah. Sorry, you probably have a lot of homework to do, too. 
Yeah. I have world history on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that's your class with the most homework, right? Right. Okay, I'll see you later. I have an article to write. Hmm, I wonder what Mandy's going to write in her article. Do you think she's going to say how she really feels about Trina's acting and singing? Well, I don't know if that's the best idea. If she does that, she might hurt someone. Yeah, well, whatever she writes, she better do it soon. She has a lot of homework to do tonight. And now let's learn this key word, homework. Homework. Homework is work that your teacher gives you to do at home. Right, work that your teacher gives you to do at home is homework. That means you don't finish the work in class, you take it home and do it on your own. Now be careful, this word is homework, not housework. Housework is something different. Now Andrea, what kind of homework did you give your students when you were a teacher in Canada? Well, I gave them a lot of homework. I gave them different things that they have to read, things to help prepare them for next class. I also like to give them papers to write. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, we have another key word to learn here. History. History. In history class, you learn about things that happened in the past. For example, you can have an American history class. In this class, you learn about what happened in the past in America. Well, in our conversation, Allie says that she has world history. Now, in world history class, you learn about things that happened in the past around the world. And this is the class that Allie has the most homework, so she better get to work. And we better get to work and learn some more from Thomas. Key words. All right, friends, let's review our key words from today's lesson. Our first word is truth. Truth. I said I liked the movie, but the truth is I don't. Principle. Principle. The principal hired five new teachers for her school. Homework. Homework. Tom does his homework after school every day. History. History. In American history class, we learned about America's past. Now let's review them again. Truth. Truth. Principal. Principal. Homework. Homework. History. History. Okay, friends, thanks for saying those with us. Now let's review day one of this month's Portland lesson. Hey, girl. How is sc school? Are you okay? It's so terrible. What is school? I just can't believe it. Mandy, stop being so dramatic. Hey, you usually say that to me. You won't believe who got the lead in the school play. Who? Trina Taylor. Taylor? The principal's daughter? That's interesting. Trina's acting is terrible, and her singing is even worse. She has to sing? Yes, and she sings like this. Whoa! Mandy, be nice. It's the truth. And now I have to write about the auditions for the school paper. Uh-oh. Good luck. So, do you wish you were in the play? Well, I would have liked to try out for it, but since Trina has the biggest part, I'm glad I'm not in it. Uh, 
Mandy, don't you have any homework to do? Yeah, I have so much homework to do tonight. Don't you think you should get started? Oh, yeah. Sorry, you probably have a lot of homework to do, too. Yeah, I have world history on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that's your class with the most homework, right? Right. OK, I'll see you later. I have an article to write. Word power. It's time for Word Power. This week, we're going to learn about different school subjects. Let's begin. Are you ready? How big is this circle? We can find the answer in math class. Math. Math. And how does your body work? We can learn about our body by studying health. Health. A ruler. Let's see how far Taipei is from Tainan. We can study that in geography. Geography. Okay, don't move. I'm going to draw you. Hmm, art is fun. I like learning about art. Art. It's good to know how to exercise too. We can exercise in gym class. Gym. Gym. Hello, hola. It's fun to learn a foreign language, like English or Spanish. Foreign languages. Foreign languages. Hi, it's past five o'clock. Are you still awake? Oh, <laughs> remember all these words about school subjects. Then you'll have word power. Calendar phrase. Good luck. Good luck. 祝你好运 I have a big English test today. Good luck. I have to do well, or I'll be in a lot of trouble. Good luck. This is the most important test of the year. Good luck. Unfortunately, I didn't study for it. You didn't study. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. 祝你好运 All right, friends. Let's practice our question of the day. Which class is your favorite? Why? Well, when I was a student, history class was one of my favorite classes. I think it's important to know about the past, about things that happened in the past, to know where we're going in the future. Hmm, that's an interesting answer. All right, friends, what about you? Practice this question, and we'll see you tomorrow here on Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. And remember, learning English can be fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye.